God's timing is perfect. God never comes early, never comes late. He never misses. He comes at the right time. We need your time to shine. We need your time to battle beside God. He will call you. Meanwhile, you need to prepare yourself. You need to get yourself close to real men that are in the path. And if you can just come as close as possible to a man that is already in that mission, that's the greatest thing you can do, bro. Because that's what's going to bring you the closest, the fastest. You don't need anything else. You got it all already, bro. Whatever you have in this world, it doesn't matter. When you are operating from the spirit, you have it all. It's perfect. You're grateful. You don't chase. When you're putting from your body, you chase. You're focused on being. You're focused on being present. You getting stuff is just a consequence. You just attract it. It's just like, you don't need it. I don't need this jet ski. I don't need the mansion. I don't need the supercars, the Bugatti. I don't need anything. I need to experience more pressure, bro, because that's how you build character. That's how you build strength. I don't want to stop progressing, bro. So I'm always going to have to to put myself in more pressure. And that's what a leader does. A leader is able to put himself in more pressure when he doesn't need it, really need it, bro. But it's just something inside a leader is telling him, just do it, just go for it. Don't be a weenie, you know, buy that, do that, put that money for you, bro. I don't need anything. I don't need more money. That's why I don't act like money hungry. That's why I'm in peace. That's why I'm able to enjoy my life, you know? I don't even need what I have. I'm living in this crazy, man. Dude, like, this is absolutely nuts, man. Your body is actually a temple given to you by God. So when you are actually destroying your temple, your body, you know, which is the temple of your Holy Spirit, which is the place where the Holy Spirit is stored here in earth, in your body, and you're actually destroying it with lack of exercise, bad nutrition, drugs, negative thoughts, negative people. You're actually disrespecting God. And as you are destroying his temple, he is going to destroy it. Your conscience is the authentic voice of God. And when you listen to it and you apply it, it's when miracles happen. You know, it's when stuff like a dishwasher like me, a normal, regular guy like me, that was just, you know, cleaning dishes as a dishwasher, working in construction, and ends up in a Bugatti, <laughs> okay? Bro, entertainment is entertainment. You know, you can entertain yourself, watch a movie, watch a soccer match, whatever, for a little bit, but don't make that your life. You cannot make that your life. You cannot be so passionate about something that's gonna alter your emotional status if a team wins or loses. You know, literally, I mean, it's very important because I'm here to help you guys and I'm here to make sure you guys are walking the path that is going to take you to your purpose, your mission in life and just kill it. When you spiritually level up, you start piling up money, danger comes because that money can, you know, can turn you into being very greedy and can take you back into operating from the skin. So, you know, actually the less you have, the more you suffer it's actually easier to operate from spirit. And as you keep adding stuff in this material world, it's harder and harder to operate from the spirit, okay? Love is the truth, hard truth, which will hurt the loved ones in many occasions. But that pain is necessary because that pain is part of growth. Love needs to grow. If it doesn't grow, it dies. There's no such thing as I love this person and I just love this person the same way, same level every year. That's not, you're just going down, bro. This is because also that suffering that was initiated by the actual hard truth is what gave it the chance of growing deeper and stronger. So you wanna make the money? Great. Just stop thinking in the money, start thinking in suffering. Suffer all you can today so you can build that stronger character so you can be that stronger person that is able to help more people in more situations. You know, focus on one skill or whatever you like. I focused on fitness to start. If you don't want to focus on that, focus on whatever you like. And if you don't like, if you don't know what you like, bro, just focus on being your best you. 
best habits, best mindset, best body, you know, no vices. And just by dominating life, dominating the art of living, that's a skill itself. You know, you can teach people how to be the best self in whatever they do. The only way to receive the data, the messages from up there, which is actually going to fix all your problems, comes within inside you from your spirit that would actually connect with the Holy Spirit and you will be able to just receive all that data, right? So that's how I stop drugs. Your life is just a process where God prepares you. We're really all chosen for a massive mission because we are in this world and the, the chances that you were born is crazy. And people don't see their value. When you understand that your conscience is the authentic voice of God, when I was a kid, he was telling me, you're gonna do something massive, you know? You're gonna change the world. You're gonna do something bigger than money, something bigger than fame. And I didn't really understand anything, but those things were in my mind. I just expect that you value this enough that you apply it, you know, and you just go ahead right now and start living to, you know, up to your potential, which is massive, bro. You know what are the chances that you were born? It's literally something like 8 billion people throw like a dice that has 2 million faces and they all have to land in the same face. How crazy is that? Well, that's are the chances that you were born. And you're still so ungrateful that, oh, I have a bad day. You have a great day, bro. You're living in this world. So just go ahead and put the work. Faith is the magic sauce you need to add to all these things to make everything happen, you know? Without faith, you cannot really like materialize anything in the real world. You can be doing everything correctly, but have no faith and nothing will ever happen. Faith is what you need to really discover who the f you are, bro. Freedom doesn't come from money. Freedom is spiritual. Every answer is spiritual. It's not money. Money is something external to us. The only thing that is free is our spirit. It's our soul. You need to get close to people that are winning or are in their path to win. I mean, that is the most massive thing, bro. Understand this, you and me, we are the same. Dude, can you believe that Like, yes, we are the same. God created us equal and likewise Him. We all have massive potential in us. People judge based on opinions of other people. So you judge a person or a situation or an event based in what other people think about it. And that's a very low level of like conscience if you're doing that. Your real judgment about something has to be what your feelings tell you. Your feelings and your experience towards that. When I'm awake, I'm working. And that's how I operate. And that's how I build this shit. Working harder than you, you know? Removing fear. Becoming that man that's unstoppable. Creating that mindset that's unbreakable. Nothing can break me. Every time I get a bump, every time I have some kind of problem, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you for this f challenge to make me stronger. The gym teaches you consistency, teaches you that you cannot miss a single day, teaches you that you require a lot of the same thing every day during years to obtain the result you want. Teaches you that actually if you're doing it for the result, you're going to quit. What about all your friends that started in the gym with you? They just wanted the bicep or the abs for the chicks. They're not there anymore. Why are you still on the gym with a bicep and a set of abs? Because you stopped doing it for the chicks. I started for the chicks, but I kept going for me. The difference between wanting to help people and wanting to manipulate people is the intention. The intention of all these people is just getting some money out of you. And my intention is helping you, dude. I'm never gonna onboard someone as a client that I don't know I can 100% help, you know? Whatever I've done, Wes has done, you can do. You can do it better. We're all sons of God. We're created with the same power, the same potential. But the thing is that you don't see your own potential. No one around you sees it. 
Like, so you need to step close to someone that sees your potential. Whoever gets close to West is going to win a lot. Whoever gets close to me is going to win just by the fact that that proximity to someone that is seen by so many people, it is going to build your audience so massively fast that you're going to just like grow just by getting close to someone that is winning. Always focus first on your health and never, never put anything else, not a relationship, not like spiritual stuff or not money over health. Health is the top, top, top priority always. That's the big error people do when they start making money. They stop going to the gym. They stop eating right. They stop tracking macros and they start getting fat. And that's the start of your death while you are alive. Just remember, it's not what you do, it's who you are working yourself from inside, outside. Don't go from outside, inside. If not, you're going to be empty. You know, you have the money, you don't have the personal development, you're going to be empty. You know, your level of success is never going to overpass your personal development. You need to understand that. Kids are the perfect creation of God. They are perfect spirit. They have no fear. They all love, good intention. They treat everyone like themselves. That's what you got to do. Main thing, treat everyone like you treat yourself. You know, love everyone like you love yourself. The world just ruins kids and they turn them into adults. So being an adult is operating from the skin. There is no adult in this life. Whoever that considers themselves an adult is operating from the skin and is dying.